Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress and data and request security. This is our part 7. In this video session guys, we will see that how can we use our nonsense value with our HX request. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of this playlist to get the clear vision about this video session. So basically guys in our last video session that is video number part 6 we have discussed about the complete detail of, of nonce field as well as we have seen about the first way that we will if we submit our form with the direct form submission way so how can we validate our nonce value we have seen in deep where these are the definitions that actually we had covered okay what is nonce value how actually we can create by using WP nonce field and how can we validate these are the two functions responsible for that okay so these are the things that we have discussed so if this is your first video session guys then I strongly suggest to watch our previous video session to make the clear concept about the nonce value of WordPress so basically guys in this video session we are going to submit our form with the Ajax request so just back to editor and this is the plugin that actually we are working on and this plugin you, you can download from this github repository okay so just back to editor and now open up called add student.php page this is the form submission code and in the last video session all we have seen something like that okay so now in this video sessions we are not going to submit this form by the form submission way by the action okay so just get rid of all these action parameters and let's say that JavaScript and let's say void 0 okay we have actually blocked the action okay and now let's pass the ID of this form let's say form submit okay form submit data so just make copy of this data and now in our last video session guys this is the statement that we have attached after attaching this WP nonce field with the form it has generated the two lines of code as we had seen in last video okay so let's uncomment that now we are going to submit our form with the Ajax request and this validate method actually came by using function called by using library file something called the jquery.validate.js this library file has provided the validate method okay so just making an object inside this method and let's say that submit handler okay which basically runs when the form is submitted successfully without any issue or without any error okay this is the syntax so this is the ID of the form and now inside this function we are going to submit this form by making a request so let's say jQuery dot post okay basically this is one of the post method guys by the help of that we can submit our request to the server okay and now in the next parameter guys we need to pass the Ajax URL okay by the help of that URL actually we can submit our form okay so let's say that echo and uh, we are going to use something called admin URL okay and inside this admin URL function we are going to assign called admin ajax.php okay basically it gives the path just go to editor and let's inspect that just go to console tab and now if we will type called ajax URL so this is the URL actually generated okay so now we are trying to retrieving this admin ajax path by the help of this called the function called admin url this is the wordpress function which basically gives you the path up to ad admin ajax.php okay by the help of this file or by the help of this function we can make our ajax request okay and in the second parameter we need to pass the data of this form okay so let's make copy of this and first we have to serialize called where post data okay we need to use called the serialize method to serialize all the data actually we are getting from this form okay and now in the next parameter we need to attach a action let's say action and let's say that my ajax okay this action name is responsible to hooking up our ajax request with our wordpress okay so now let's pass in the next parameters called something function this is the callback function okay just we have to pass this post data inside this request okay so successfully guys this is the very basic syntax first of all we have to pass the URL okay by the help of that URL actually we are going to pass or submit this data and this is the data actually we are going to pass and this is the callback function which basically takes the response from the server and sends back to the client okay so let's say response this is the response variable actually in this variable we are actually get the value of that response okay from the server so just go inside your main plugin file and let me hook up that action which we have made so let's add action 
and WP Ajax okay this is the prefix that we need to attach with our action name and what actually action name we have given my Ajax so just make copy of that go you to your file and let's say underscore and this is the action name okay WP Ajax is the prefix WordPress has provided to attach our action hook okay in the second parameter we need to pass the function name which is basically responsible to prefer or do action with this request okay so let's say that my Ajax function okay my Ajax function so basically just make copy of that this is the function name let me make a function with this name my Ajax function and inside this function we need to do our actions okay we need to do our functionality so let's say print r and all the values actually we get inside this request and finally WP die okay so basically we are means getting the all the request variable inside this function and we are printing that variable okay to and also we will get the same response to our client side also so if we save this file go to browser and just control F5 to hard refresh okay just go to console tab and now in this console tab we will see our output just clicking on submit button and now this is an error called serialize okay guys I think we have actually some this is not actually serialized just a after that okay so if we save this again just refresh that page once we reload just click on submit button and now this is an array okay why array only just go to editor and this is the response that we are sending and instead of print let's say print R okay so if we save this again just go to browser reload your page and now clicking on submit button so all these data as you can see guys these all data actually we are submitting to the server and as you can see that this is the refer and this is the nonce value okay so we have to validate this nonce value to our ajax request that is from by ajax okay so just go to editor and now inside this function inside this function we need to validate that okay so let's say that if WP verify nonce this is the function that actually we have discussed in our previous video session so just make copy of that WP verify nonce and paste inside this if block and let's say that we have to pass the first parameter as the value of this nonce value so just copy the student name nonce and this is we are getting into the request and let's say that this is the nonce value and in the second parameter we need to pass the action name and the action name actually you have remember this is the action name that we have given a student action name okay so now let's pass into the second parameter and just make else block again okay so let's say echo a status equal to 1 when we actually we have submitted our request successfully otherwise let's say echo a status equal to 0 if the request is invalid okay so if we save this file just go to browser reload this page and now let's click on this button and now as we can see that's status equal to 1 because the server has submitted the nonce value as well as our request successfully so what will happen if you change or update the value of nonce field so just inspect that and let's change the value of this nonce field something different from that okay once we actually update the value just clicking on this submit button and now on clicking on that just go to console tab we can see that status equal to zero why because we have actually updated that value and WP verify nonce is not able to verify that nonce with these parameters so guys this is the first way to validate our Ajax request with the nonce value and now we have also an alternative way okay so just go to editor and now just comment this function from this form okay so now we have no nonce value no nonce field with our form so how can we submit this form with a nonce value so just go to this form let's create a nonce value inside this JavaScript code okay so let's say that where nonce equal to we are going to use a PHP sorry WordPress function and the WordPress function is something called PHP echo and WP create nonce okay this is the function that we have to use and inside this function we have to pass the action name okay action name of our nonce value so let's say that my or let's say student nonce okay 
and finally we have to attach this nonce value with our request okay successfully we have generated that so just go here and let's include another parameter which is a defined parameter of WordPress to pass the newly created WordPress nonce value with our JavaScript code and that is something called underscore Ajax nonce okay underscore Ajax nonce and equal to and this is the value that we are passing called nonce okay so just go to function and inside this function we need to validate so let's make comment of that and we are going to use called the function checks check Ajax referral okay this is the function that we have discussed so just make copy of that and inside this function we are going to pass something called the action name that we have given just copy student nonce and pass inside this check Ajax referral okay and let's attach another line of code if this request is valid so let's say that this is running okay so if we save this file go to browser just reload this page once we reload just clicking on the submit button and now this is running why because the request has successfully validated so what will happen if we misuse or change the or update the value of this nonce field okay so let's call student nonce one which is basically not the name of the nonce field that we have assigned we have assigned called student one nonce okay and this is student nonce one so these two names actually not matched okay so if we save this file again go to browser just clear out console and let's click on submit button and now as we can see that this is the forbidden error which 403 HTTP status code it means that the request is invalid so successfully guys we had seen the another way to validate our Ajax request okay so successfully there are two ways in our Ajax request first either you actually gave the function directly to the form okay and now it will be submitted by our serialize method to by the post data but the another way is that we need to create the nonce field inside the JavaScript code by the help of this WP create nonce okay we have to pass this nonce value right with the Ajax parameter called Ajax nonce this is a WordPress defined parameter okay you have to pass this value with this nonce field and if we get the nonce value to our server side code we can validate okay so I think guys I have made much more clear concept about the two ways if you can submit all your form in by the action or by the, by using the Ajax code okay all in two conditions we have seen in great detail about the nonsense concept and also we have validated that request so in this playlist guys we have seen all the ways to protect our data so basically to protect and data and request in the WordPress we have the following ways and we have seen all in detail user roles capabilities we have discussed in video number part 2 about the data validations we had seen in part 3 about the sanitization means securing input we had seen in our part 4 securing output that is escaping of unwanted output to the output screen of video number 5 and these are the two videos called nonsense with form action as well as nonsense with ajax request and this is the current video session that we are looking for okay so successfully guys we had completed about the main concern of this playlist okay so i hope you would like this playlist and also guys if you have any query in this video session then please drop your comment and i will give my reply as soon as possible okay so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day